Hi, I'm Joe James, and in this video, we're going to cover similarity in the geometry series. Two polygons are similar if all corresponding angles are congruent and all corresponding side lengths are proportional. So the side lengths can be different, but they must be proportional, corresponding side lengths. And similarity is denoted with this squiggle symbol, squiggly line. So two polygons we have shown here, we can see that all four angles, A and E, B and F, and so on, are all four angles are congruent with the corresponding angles in the other shape. And we can see that the two polygons are different sizes, and one is rotated. That doesn't matter. Orientation doesn't matter. What's important is that all corresponding angles are congruent with the other polygon. All corresponding angles are congruent and the sides are all proportionate. Those are the two requirements. The properties of similarity we've actually already covered. These are the same three properties that apply to congruence. Reflexive property means that any polygon is similar to itself. Symmetric means that if A is similar to B, then B is similar to A. And transitive property states that if A is similar to B and B is similar to C, then A is similar to C. We established that all of the angles within two polygons must be congruent for the two polygons to be similar. With triangles, we only need to necessarily prove that two angles are congruent because if two angles are congruent and we know that all three angles add up to 180, uh, we know that the third angle is also going to be congruent. So a similarity ratio, we said that the sides can be proportionate. So here we see two similar rectangles, and we have a long side and a short side. We can see that the short side here is 3, the, long side, the short side here is 6. So this is 2 times longer than this one. And the same thing with the long side, 5, and this one the long side is 10. So 10 over 5 is equal to 6 over 3 is equal to 2. And Corresponding sides should have the same similarity ratio. In this case, it's two, if the two polygons are similar. So let's try a sample problem. Here we have two similar triangles. Let's find RS and MN. So we can do this using the similarity ratios. Given that they're similar, we know that 15, which is the longest leg of this triangle, it's going to be proportional to the 10 of NL. So 15 over 10 is our similarity ratio. And we're going to have the same similarity ratio for TS, which is 12, over MN, which is a shorter leg of the triangle. And then that's going to be also equal to the same ratio for the hypotenuse. So RS over ML, which is 12. So we have similarity ratios for each of the corresponding sides. And then we can just cross multiply to solve for these. So 10 times 12 divided by 15 will give us MN. This is just cross multiply and then divide. And the same thing for this one. We can solve for RS by just cross multiplying 15 times 12 divided by 10 will give us RS. And that gives us 18. So MN is equal to 8 and RS is equal to 18. So proving triangle similarity, we can either prove angle-angle similarity, which we already mentioned in triangles, you need to only prove two angles are congruent. If two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar, because we know the third angle is also going to be congruent. Side, side, side similarity. If all three sides of one triangle are proportional to the three corresponding sides of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. So if we can figure out which sides are proportional to the other sides in the other triangle, then we can prove similarity between these two triangles. So another way to prove triangle similarity is with the side angle side similarity which states that if two sides of one triangle are proportional to two sides of another triangle, 
and their included angles are equal or congruent, then the triangles are similar. So these two sides don't need to be congruent, they just need to be proportional in their included angle. So if we know that this angle A is congruent with angle F, then AC has to be proportional to FE, which is the longer leg of the triangle. And the hypotenuses also must be proportional. So AB and FD. So if we know that those two sides are proportional and we know that a is congruent with angle F, which is the, con the included angles, then we know the two triangles are similar. That concludes my video on similarity. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, please click the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'm Joe James. Thanks for watching.